All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. Now, a whole bunch of YouTubers were able to place their order for a ghoul back in April, and I'm so pumped. We're gonna go to the dealership, and I believe I'm gonna be the first one to have a ghoul in their driveway. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a cold start on this. For those of you that are new on this channel, this is a twin turbo 397. Dino day, August 25th, so I should have some power numbers. <laughs> Uh, Hellcat fueling system so who knows how much power it's gonna make but uh, it should be entertaining nonetheless so we'll get a cold start and head out So we made it to the dealership. We gotta go to the new section over there. Now a whole bunch of people have told me that uh, the ghoul is real and that I didn't know what I was talking about. It's not an April Fool's joke. Uh, so the ghoul is $200,000, has a hell elephant engine in there, 1,000 horsepower, just an absolute beast with a warranty. So I'm really excited to get my butt into it. Are you a Mopar technician? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Have you ever heard of uh, SRT Ghoul? It's basically yes, a they're... charger with a elephant crate engine put into it. Mm -hmm. Is Dodge planning on doing that? Well, they're considering it. I mean, it is, it's been on the drawing board. They've done experimentation. But are they going to put it into production? So it, it, there's no production. It's kind of just still in, in like a... The drawing board? Yeah, Draw well, it's making everybody drool over it, so that way everybody who's got the Hellcats, SRT, and everything else. Okay. Gonna say, hmm, you know, so there cool. still is a chance that it could potentially yes, it come out. Yes, still hit the streets, which would be nice. And it, it, it it's the 1,000 crank horsepower, yes. 426. And allegedly totally amazing. Nice. I mean, I've been a Viper SRT tech since the early 90s <laughs> so do you think there's with the whole epa cracking down and everything do you think it's actually going to happen it very well could they're going to have to go with like they did with a lot of the vehicles they're going to have to go multiple displacement all kinds of stringent emissions of course cutting back on timing fuel delivery as long as they can make epa and emissions requirements it'll hit the street you're still going to have to pay a hefty to probably know in a way our new commander-in-chief is that luxury tax is going to go up through the ceiling yeah so you will pay dearly for a v8 so the the rumor has it that it's going to be in the ballpark of about two hundred thousand. is that something that's crazy off the wall or you yeah, think not really uh, considering the way they're designing it from what little i've read of it because believe it or not they supply more information to the outside to the press and everything you else, guys than us guys we're left in the dark we even learn about recalls. You guys will get a notification first about a recall before we find out about it. <laughs> it's amazing. That's interesting. It's okay. Like our government. <laughs> so you do you you work on these cars, right? Oh, and everything. So you really are entrenched years. into the Dodge world and the Mopar world, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, man. Thank you for your time. Ah, no problem, bro. All right. We need some inside info, man. You ever hear of an SRT Ghoul? SRT Ghoul. Ghoul. No, never. Elephant crate engine dropped into a charger. No, thousand horsepower. Sounds familiar. Yeah. No. Dodge is planning two hundred thousand dollars to sell it. You know, limited really? production. Really. You don't know anything about it. No idea. I heard bits and pieces about things like that. They're going to plan on doing that, but nothing official. Nothing official. So there you have it guys a little bit of mixed reviews here on the ghoul who knows whether it's really coming out or not You never know with Dodge either way. I got a buddy with a uh, 426 with a Dodge Demon blower on there And uh, it's making some crazy power so I'm gonna show you guys a real-life ghoul
This is a 426. Many of you guys have seen this up on the channel. It belongs to my buddy, uh, Mario. It stole a 426, fully forged, piston rods, everything. Cam. Um, so what we did this time, instead of going to stand around and go put a bigger Whipple, you know, 4.5 Whipple, I wanted something different. Okay. You know, so we went with a Demon Blower. All right, let's see this thing. So it's a 2.7 liter instead of a 2.9 liter like the Whipple, but it's more efficient boost. And it's an upgrade from a Hellcat blower. That's sick. You can see we got nitrous. We got a 200 shot of nitrous. Have you run the nitrous yet? Not yet. It's useless right now on the streets. <laughs> How much do you think you have invested in this thing? Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> not go. One thing led to another, and now I have a 950 wheel horsepower charger.